Yo! Video games. Man. Who'd say no to that, right? Yeah, so close to MK1, man. We're almost there. Almost, man. I, I mean, here's the thing. We haven't been waiting three months for MK1 since its announcement back in June. We've been waiting four years. Four years, yep. We've been waiting years and to stop playing MK1. We don't know what Scorpion plays like. We don't know what Rako plays like. We don't even know what Molina plays like. Yeah. Molina was announced... Kevin, thank Day you. Day one, so Scorpion. We don't know. We barely. Yeah, you guys, you, like, you guys can put it on retro right now. I think that's fine. This is pretty fucking retro. I don't think of the. I don't look at the Dreamcast as being retro. This is retro. Yes. Man, I remember going to arcades and just hearing that sound. And you know, like, the thing is, like, this attract mode would always be on. Like, some attract modes would dissipate. Yeah. And then you would have to put in a coin. Um, this attract mode would just constantly play. Like, it wouldn't turn off. Outruns, yeah. Someone literally made a game off well, on the Pacific Coast Highway. Like, literally made a game like, hey, we're driving down the one in our Ferrari. Yeah. So a Japanese dude by the name of Yu Suzuki was like, I want to live that Hollywood life in a video game. Yeah. Ferrari, you know, just... Is that all this is supposed to be is just, like, Malibu. Yeah. Look at the cars. You know, like, first year. Sounds like you're in first gear. Because you're not about to make it. Yeah, you're, you think you had to change gears. Yeah, there you go. Now you're going uh, fast. Now you're cooking. Man, that was bad. Uh, uh was, was, yeah, because it was high or low gear. Yeah. Right? It wasn't actually like a gearbox. It yep. was high or low. High or low. So yeah, Simmons was in first gear the whole time. Oh, I see this. Reginald Butterbean, thank you. Butterbean! Yeah, these are crazy. Did you get rid of the ultras already? Get ready. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, we got the new one. That was cozy. I almost thought this was the MK one. I got excited. No, it wasn't. No, it's the new Vertigear chairs. By the way, chat, yeah, shout out to Vertigear. Uh, I think this is the PL4800. Uh, uh, it's the new fancy chair they sent us. Where are like, hey, you're using chairs from like 2015? I'm like, yes! Bro. We actually are. Not even me, like, those were literally the first First chairs we ever got. First chairs we ever yeah. got. And, we still, and, and here's the thing, they still work. They still work. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give them to some family. Uh -huh. yeah. They sent us like new, like extra cozy chairs, and oh my god. That's uh, wild. They're bro. completely different. They're yeah. feeling, feeling completely different than I the previous ones. I have to sit on it because, yeah. I mean, I'm sitting on this one too, which is like this. And then uh, JJ reserved this one, so she doesn't want people sitting on it because oh, okay. JJ likes it so much. Let me get the uh, Laker one. Yes, exactly. This is the one JJ doesn't want you sitting on. Damn. You, unless, unless you absolutely have to. They gave uh, us a purple and black one. Nice. Oh, well, that's Steve. You know, I even though I like purple, but it's very pretty. It's very pretty. Yeah, but um, don't tell JJ it's sat on it. On the purple one? Yeah, purple one's hers. Oh, but I thought that one was hers. No, JJ likes purple. Oh, then never mind. I'm gonna sit on that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna sit on JJ. No, no, god damn. Oh no! I will not sit on JJ's chair. Uh, that one's a bit bigger too. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, for large dude. But my God, dude, I still remember like, yo, we got some gamer yeah. chairs, bro. And here's here's the crazy part, chat. Check yeah. this out. Um, Vertigear found my my old relic chair. They don't even make these anymore. This, they're making different trigger chairs. So wow. this is my old baby, and it, it just I, just too much wear and tear over the years, and I had to get rid of it and I had to replace it. So they they sent me another one. Holy oh, horse! Crazy nice one. These are like discontinued. Yeah, so. this one. This feels yeah. This one's good. So yeah, this was my old uh, Vertigear trigger chair. Oh, this one feels oh. nice. Ah, oh, it's back. I have to wear it in, right? All these like mesh chairs that you sit yeah. in, you gotta well, wear them in a whole bunch. Well, those mesh chairs are basically like studio chairs. They are. Those yeah. Are, like, that's and, like, and I notice when I play fighting games, video games yeah. in general, like if, I, if I'm using things that use my brain a lot, I I like overheat. Yes. You know, I really yeah. do. So the chair gets hot as hell, and you just need to like you know something that's breathable. Yeah. No, because here's the thing, like, um, yeah, you go to, like, you go to studios, because, like, my dad has 
some studio chairs, and they're all mesh. They're all like that. They're like, like these ones. things. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, a big shout out to Vertigear. They sent us replacement chairs. You'll be seeing the, the new Vertigear chairs yeah. on, on stream every but once dude, in a while. Yeah. I, dude, remember, like, this, we just had whatever chairs you had in your, like, house. And they were funky, down. dude. There was a death chair. We still have old Squeaky. Oh. Old Squeaky? Yeah. And Squeaky was the red one. Yeah. Chad, I built, I, to the end of the days, and I remember they sent us, like, four. We're like, whoa, look at this. And then me used, and then we all put it together. We all came by, like, super early. Okay, gamer chairs. Yeah. Like we put the chairs together, and we're like, yo, we're coming up. We're moving, yo, video we're games. We're moving up. Yeah, we yo, got, video games. We got chairs up. for each other. Let's yeah. go. My God, dude. But the days before your video games had gamer chairs. No! Oh, God, my car. This actually does run crazy good. For like 86. You know what's wild? For some reason, it's old as dirt. For some reason, I never really played Space Harrier. Neither did I. It was, before, it was literally before my time. I'm not even shitting you. Yeah, yeah, it was even like, but there was times where it was in the arcade, and I'm just like, I always passed on it. You know, I, but you know what? You know what was equally similar, but the one you played was Afterburner. Yes. And it was pretty much the same game as this. Yeah. Ah! Or Air the Wolf, the, the helicopter one. Yes. The, with the, the, the thing, and yeah. it was sick. I played the helicopter one because it was like a little cooler. Cause you, um, I forgot what it was called. Chad will know it. Wolf or Operation Wolf or something like that. Yeah, this game essentially set up for like Afterburner and like Jet Games and all of that yeah. shit, and also Panzer Dragoon and Star Fox. Like it all comes from this. Uh, Thunderblade. Yeah, this is like the world's first rail. Shoot. Yeah, Thunderblade. Thunderblade. Yeah. Yeah. Thunder something. Oh, you know what's funny? I didn't see that at um at Galloping Ghost. It's in there. I don't know. If it's but they do have the other Sega game that like move like fucking crazy, that race game. Oh yeah. They had Sonic on the on the um, rear view mirror. That's Rad Racer. Might have been Rad. That was Kenny's game, Rad Racer. Yeah. It's the Sonic in the rear view mirror. I hope we saw that again at GGA. Oh, Done. Oh, right a tree! tree. You know what I kind of want to check out in comparison? And I'd be turning on the PlayStation to take a look at it. I want to, I want to take a look at what UMK3 looks like on the Midway Classics Collection. Which is where the majority of people say that they played MK3 on, like, the PlayStation. It was in the old, funky thing. Kind of curious. Before the end of the night. Man. I remember, I love my little old school PlayStation 1. The, the mini, and then with the screen. I had that. Yeah. I had that, and then uh, I used to take it in my car. So like we'd go to like places, plug it into the cigarette Pojack lighter. That. Yeah, yeah. Me and Pojack did the same thing, and then we'd just play a bunch of fighting games. Like, I remember we used to go to Not Scary Farm, and like you know, like we get there early, so we'd just be in the parking lot, and we'd be playing like. You got killed by the dick plant. Get ready. Yeah, this is like this is an era of like classic Sega that's kind of before me and Mac. Kind of. If we're talking like the goddamn mid '80s and stuff, yeah, like not yeah. really. Like Nintendo wasn't even really a thing in the U.S. until like '89-ish, like '88, where it was actually like people really knew about it. They were like, "Oh, you're It came out like a te they did a test market run. Yeah, like barely, like like, like a, in yeah, New York, like in New thousands. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't it was playing. like 300. Oh, I was playing like, this shit like in '85. Like it didn't really come out until '86. This then, one. Nintendo. And then, like, people didn't catch on to the NES until, like, 87. It was, like, late 80s, yeah. Oh! It wasn't, like, one... But then it was, like, it was everywhere by, like, 88, 89. God damn. Play Joker, thank you. Get ready. Hey, Chad, how many of y'all excited for Joker 2 and now it's gonna be a musical? Is it the one Lady Gaga's in? Yeah. yeah. I'm slight. I'm like. I'm probably more excited than we'll be if they're just like, it's Joker 2. I, I would I'm rather. I'm really sure that Joker needed He's to be more him. mentally oh. ill. Well, here's the thing that movie was Joker 2, but well, you didn't get to see him be Joker. You never really get to see him be. I don't Joker. think that was really the point of the movie, though. Well, yeah, probably not, but. It's not, I, it's, not a, it's not a superhero movie. No. And I don't need him to be a superhero or whatever. I just I just want to see what he would do. Like. I want to see his interpretation this of the This game is a fucking Joker. trip, dude. Get ready. 
Yeah, if there was a if there was a DC movie that definitely didn't need a sequel, it was The Joker. It did not need a sequel. But it made so much money that DC fucking execs got hard. Pretty much. Like I would like the thing is because like oh my god like when you when you think of film jokers, I don't think of Joaquin Phoenix. No, I do not either because you know. But I, I would like to see his portrayal of the same character. More like, well, like again, it's more like banks, taxi driver. Killing mayors or something? Yeah. Come on. Being a gangster or something. Gangster Joker is still the best Joker. You're doing great. Um, it's 89. Never ending story. Oh, yeah. Trees. Yeah, ten hours long. Joker two is happening, and it's a low key musical. You're doing great. Is it gonna be like Sweeney Todd? Probably not that good. Yeah. Yeah, it might be kind of like Sweeney Todd. Get ready. Jesus. Crap. I'm officially in the like whatever phase of finish the game. I don't like the game. This is Spider Man. Spider Verse for sure, I'll definitely yeah. be on all of them. Get ready. So. Here's the thing, too, like. We're just not burned out on comic book movies. We're just burned out, out on bad, bad ones. ones. This Spider Verse came out and rocked our dicks off. That hasn't come out yet, has it? Yeah, no. It's supposed to. I'm about as excited for Aquaman 2 as I am for a new Fast and Furious movie. They're basically the same thing. Chat said Aquaman's getting a trailer this week. Wow. That's wild. Get ready. Get ready. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is brutal. Get ready. You're doing great. It just keeps going. Mediocrity fatigue. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. I heard there's one I'm really mad at. I'm, I'm down for Loki season two. Loki is actually good. Yeah, I think I would have been down for Loki season two two years ago. <laughs> you know, like I think like maybe a year after the first one or something. But now I just don't. I don't know. I give a shit, dude. It's way too long. I think it's like well, you know John why? Majors is gonna be like the bad guy again. It's like, here's uh, the thing. too much, too much shit happened. Too much dog shit piled up before. Yeah, season two, right? So like, how the fuck are they gonna wrap all this shit together? There's still some white vision running around. You know? Yeah. Get ready. It has 16 levels, dude. You're Holy nowhere close to the hell. end. What? You're nowhere close to the end. No way. Who ever one quartered this? Well, my friend Chris did. Really? Dude, he's on the. He's got a picture of a goblin ghost. Oh, shit. That's insane. Yeah, Deadpool 3 will be exciting, but that's like never coming out now. Yeah. Because executives don't want to pay up. That's kind of wild that they just asked for $47 million and now they're taking And now, now, they're, now they're losing half a billion. Yeah. Yep. Pretty crazy. Well, yeah, we're okay to like. I'm just. That, the, yeah, so Chad, just like a summary of the damn. The, the actor's strike, right? The actors and the writer's strike is that, uh. The fucking amount of money Disney's about to lose because of the strike is getting close to 500 million. Guess how much they were asking for to compensate everybody. They're asking for 50. That was it. For the entire goddamn division of the industry, they were just asking for like 50. That's so they are now in the negative and they're still holding out, right? It's like now it's just petty. Now it's just petty. Now it's just like we have to set a precedent that we cannot pay people what they're worth. We have to set a precedent. And shit's just piling up because 
We ain't getting shit for a while. It's literally almost like COVID. And 100%, you're gonna start hearing shit from like, like media and, and, and the actual like executives that control media and stuff, that it is the actor's problem that they're doing this to you. You're gonna start hearing that stuff from absolute daft motherfuckers. That like the writers are doing this, dude. They took this away from you. There's a nut. The thing is, though, there's so many like selfish assholes on the internet now that they're just gonna like go along with it. It's like, you know, what? I don't fucking care, man. I just want to be entertained. Yes, Why exactly. are you entertaining me, man? Yes, exactly. Like, I don't get to go on strike in my job. I'm like, good, but <laughs> yeah, it's, or, it's already been happening, really. Where it's like, yeah, newsline articles and stuff like that are like essentially blaming the people for striking. It's like, no, this is bullshit, dude. Shit is moving so goddamn fast now. Duh. Get ready. Yeah, the strikes are adding into gaming because, to be honest, yeah, the gaming sector is just as bad. No, it's gonna be a VFX, gaming, all that shit. This is not talking about the CEOs. This is blame on you know the writers. Let's blame the people that are making like 60k a year. Yeah. <laughs> you know. For, for essentially creating the things that make billions of dollars, yeah. right? That's that's what we're talking about. That, that's the actual point of the conversation. Is that you know these people are the creative minds behind properties that make a billion dollars, and they make like sixty a year. This is becoming... My, my brain is turning off looking at this game. I think this is why I never liked Space Harrier too much. It's too fucking hard! It's, it, I think things just come at you a little too fast. Life comes at you fast. Life comes at you fast. Like Space Harrier. Yeah. Yeah, sixty thousand dollars in LA. You were for you, you. You might. You might split like a one-bedroom apartment with two people. Get ready. God damn. Get ready. You're doing great. I'm gonna run for uh, governor of California, Chad. I'm gonna ban. Uh, That's the thing, I don't even think they're making that much. Someone's saying it's like it's 27000 is the average salary of a, really? like, of an actor. Like, yeah, you, the average of all of the actors provides whatever, like 27000 They don't make any. Well, they all have a secondary job, all of them. As governor of California, I'm going to ban for yeah, profit right. uh, landlords and, um, you know, like banks buying houses and shit for profit. I'm like, yeah. You know, no one, no one is gonna profit off that. No one's gonna profit off people who just want to fucking live. Who just want to go to work, go home, have a place to sleep, to eat on their head. So, are these fucking people buying shit for for profit for these landlords? That's gone. Sorry. That's that's done. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Landlord, go, go fuck off. The Bone Dragon. People just want to fucking Jesus. have a place where they can sit down, watch TV, go to sleep. Yeah, man. Y'all like thought that was a funny meme. Rent is too damn high. That motherfucker was telling you all the truth. That fucking guy was telling you the truth years ago. Do that high body. Yeah. yeah. That's essentially what Bernie was trying to do. By investors overseas. Oh yeah, that too. There's a lot of overseas investors just fucking they got yeah, the zero, money. Thank you. They're gonna buy buy yeah. That shit is like nah, that's gotta go. You cannot profit off humans wanting to just Yeah, so has a good point. The game has neither space nor harriers. You move like a Harrier. I mean, not really. I mean, it's sort of, but you're not a space Harrier. Where is a space Harrier? You're not in space, you're on a planet. That's not space. It's a planet. 
Good point. There was supposed to be a Dreamcast game called Planet Carriers. On profit, you know. This was definitely up. like we just named it that because it sounded cool. Yeah, open up of. a McDonald's, open up a clothing store, oh. open up, you know, something else. No profit off fucking Definitely. people want to sleep. Planets are in space, right? But you don't call Earth space, right? If you're running around on Earth shooting things, you don't call that space shooter, <laughs> right? Star Wars, you know, they were on planets a lot. Sure, I mean that's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> we are, but again, if you are if you're a guy, it's like saying call Call of Duty Space Shooter for Modern Edition, but there's no space. Like there's no fucking space at all. That doesn't make any sense. We have a true space. Bro, I was past that lamppost. I think this game's making me want to throw up. Yeah, we're almost I think it's a lot of people want to throw up. I think it's up. making me kind of sick. <laughs> I think Sim is going to beat this and can never play it in ever. ever again. I can literally say I saw the ending of it. Like, like gold, like uh, Altered Beast that one time. <laughs> beat it to say we can beat it. Welcome to your door. Welcome to your door. Do it! Prepare to meet the dome. Oh. Oh. Right, chat. Go for Kenny. Turn that shit off. Get ready. Fucking guy. Hey, you know how to, you want to know how to make a million dollars? How to make hundred million dollars? You buy this old apartment. Buy this old apartment. Uh, you tear it down, you build a new apartment, and you have uh, 500 people renting and you make a million dollars. And then, you know, I, how I make my kids have a million dollars? My kids uh, have uh, a laundry machine. There's, each one of my kids have a laundry machine in my apartment. Makes $50,000 a year. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy and his kids. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Bro, I'm not even near this stuff. Get ready. <laughs> sure, let me just go ahead and do that. Let me just go buy an apartment complex, tear it down, and build a new apartment complex. Get ready. Uh, some, some dumb guy, fucking um, Instagram or TikTok, or whatever. Here's how you make million, you know, here's how you make ten million dollars on a, you know, property. Get ready. How my son makes uh, forty thousand dollars in passive um, income. Oh, well, my dad! I got to put my uh, bought laundry machines and I put it in my dad's apartment and uh, make forty thousand dollars a year. Oh, cool! So I just need my my dad to own an apartment complex. So I can, Natura. So I can buy some fucking washing machines. And um, you know, put it in the apartment complex, and I get forty thousand dollars. That's the income. He's in the last level. Get ready. It's eighteen levels, by the way. Shit. You said it was sixteen. Chat. Getting water. 100 percent. Get ready. 100 percent. Fucking lies. Okay, if, it, if it makes me a, a some kind of Get socialist ready. or some kind of thing that I think this anybody who works a 40 hour week deserves a nice place to stay on their own. Get ready. It's 24 now. I'll bet. I'll bet. Yeah, I guess that yeah. 
anyone who contributes to society and works a 40 hour week should have a, a nice place to just a place to stay. Straight up. NARC! Structure in the distance. Yeah. Boy, I do think I remember how no, Bingo's have that helicopter game. It was literally right where uh, F Zero is. Get ready. Get ready. You think Mega Man boss rush you at the end of this shit? Space here was also in Shenmue, right, Chad? Yeah, he was, yeah. That's how I really know I wasn't in Shenmue, because I can't even play the Shenmue. Yeah, me either. I didn't. Get ready. Played the arm wrestling game. Yeah. Shenmue crawled, so you could have run. Get ready. Yeah, Yakuza 0 makes sense because that takes place the same time frame as Shenmue. Yep. Mid 80s. Yeah, 0 takes place in 88. Shenmue's, I think, 85. Yeah, 80, 85, 86. But, you know, like, they should just like, have a Shenmue crossover with the Yakuza just ended there. That would be sick as fuck. Have, like, Final Battle, like, Case Lawn D back to Tokyo or whatever. Have like uh, Rio meet up with like Kiryu and Mazda. Yeah, because he doesn't even like like a final front. He, he like doesn't even confront Lundy in the end of Shenmue Three. No, you you get you meet him and then he beats you up and then he runs away and he fights some other chick. Please, come on, he's in that shit. Then like at the end of Shenmue Two, you like at the top of a building and he runs away in a helicopter or some shit. Sort of. That's Disc Three, and then Disc Four is literally just this long walk of you. Make, you go to inland China and you meet the, the chick. Yeah, you meet the chick, and that's yeah. where Shenmue 3 starts. Yeah, and you just, the whole of this forest just walking back with In a her. forest, yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> Damn, Simmons wanted to see the end, and there it is. There it is, it's right there. There's the end. That's the end, it's right there. Oh. You see it? Wow. <laughs> Did you see it? That was the end. Simmons wanted to see the end, and there it is, literally. The end. Should have been some guy's ass. His <laughs> <laughs> butt just, but just like comes in, yeah. super the scales end. up. That's the end. Well, no. 
No, no. Would you like to play again? You have selected no. Yeah. I didn't know this game could be completed. Yeah. It can with a lot of money. Yeah, a lot of money or be Simmons' friend.